Hello there my dear friend and welcome back to Dark Lord Rising. So we need to continue the campaign. So chapter 5. With the High Elves out of the way and Lord Sartek's debt repaid, it's now time to prepare for war with Lord Albion and the Syrian Knights. You have decided to capture the Isle of the Beast, an island just off the coast of Agaria. From here you can wage war on the mainland, sending in legions of undead on your mighty ships of bone. To claim victory, you must capture sufficient cities on the Isle of the Beast to stake an indisputable claim. Beware of the wizard Jan, who lives on the upper island. He is dangerous and does not tolerate intruders. Okay, so this one is actually going to be another tough map. Um, I did try this a couple of times, but I think I have gotten a good strategy down for actually winning the map. And what we need to do is to rely on our lovely vampire hero that has tons and tons of movement speed and flight to actually take tons of castles and kind of, you know, keep them somewhat. Um, in the case we've got a necromancer hero, could be better, would have preferred a general, because I, well, as, as I said earlier, my plan about creating units, but as you can see, 44 movement points, and that is going to be direly required in the, the map we are playing in. Um, it is a fog of war map. We cannot see into the enemy's fortresses, so we are can be a bit uh, can be a bit rough. Uh, oh, uh, ruin! Might as well grab that one and get some nice allies. Uh, as you can see, we have absolutely no units that can move at all. Um, Especially through the world, well, it's desert, so it's not too bad. It's only two movement points, that's normal grassland. But um, this is not going to be easy. So we have the best hero here, he has most movement points, so I assume that he's the best one. And meanwhile, we have crappy moving little bites that moves absolutely nothing. And what else do we actually have? We do have. Uh, no, we didn't have any new units we can create. We do have some of these listias that are extremely cool very powerful and that well that we can't make it i'm pretty sure we can make it at a later point but um so far we are on our own and yeah well we might as well just move all the heroes over use all the crappy heroes as uh, normal defenders and normal castles well, that is pretty much everything we can do it is a uh, Hard map, as you can see, I mean, he already won one, two, three towns in the first round, while I only got one. And he is going to win uh, many more towns before this round is over. So yeah, one, two, oh yes. Um, three, four, etc. Et you know how it works. It's very, 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 very difficult having to compete with some in some of these higher level maps. But at least my rune is here, ready for the taking. And I now oh, poop. I thought I would find some allies. Find some allies, but not today. It would appear. I'll just get some gold. That is fine. I'm going to attack this town, and I'm going to win. Excellent. If I lose the zero, I have lost the map. There will be absolutely no chance of me uh, picking up the slack in any shape or form. So I need to fast expand as I normally do. Oh, that was a lot of stuff. And can I get all the way up there? Yes, I can. And hopefully it'll be unguarded. Ha! Brilliant. I'll occupy it and create some ghosts. Um, I don't know how it is with the AI. I think that they are very, very bad at attacking towns, even though I don't have anything defending them. Oh, well, we have some more Aban the Wizard here. And we'll just quickly take this town and upgrade it a bit so we don't lose it in the next turn. And get a middle on oh, our lovely, lovely white. So we upgraded. Might as well upgrade fully. Oh shit, no more money. Oh well. Um, take all these people and get moving down here. There's a town further down south. But that was ex this was actually a surprisingly good start. There's a town up here to the northeast. I did play the... Did play the, what's it called? Map before, so I know how difficult it is going to be. And uh, yes, I actually got one, two, three, four towns in this round. So things are not looking that bad, actually. Hmm. But he will get... Um, I mean, the, the map consists of two towns. Uh, not two towns, two islands. And one island is around this size, and... Oh, yes, I can defend that one. Perfect. And there's another island up here that has the same amount of cities, pretty much, that uh, the Wizard is occupying. 
Okay, so another hero, another necromancer hero, unfortunately, is getting up a level, and I will actually try to move 24. I will try to get the necromancy, necromancy up and running, and see how effective it actually is. But um, we'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, I will continue the expansion, and hopefully they don't have the cities too well guarded. That's actually very, very nice, very nice. It is going better now than it has at any given point in the past. Especially if I get this one. Oh no, I don't get the ocean. Bloody missiles. They can always be the biggest pain of them all. But we have reasonable defenses in our towns, and there should be some more down here. Or even a ruin unexplored. But no allies, which would have been awesome right, now, right about now. And we win this one. Oh yes. And occupy it. If it's only giving one gold piece to pillage it, it's really not worth it. And I'll get blessed in the next turn, so that is quite okay. Meanwhile, we can defend what we got and take this down. Oh, bloody Archon. Ah, uh, this is going to be a difficult one. Ah, shit, i do it now. Oh, no, I'm gonna win. Oh, that went surprisingly well. Even a ruin in the next turn. I think I've uh, been very hard pressed getting any ruin so far. But this is actually a very, very nice start. There should be another town over here that they probably have is conquered. But I'm gonna take it. Excellent, excellent. This is bloody working. This is actually working. Don't think there's any more down here to the southwest. Only the town up there. But can I get any units there currently? Are you gonna make it? No. Not even close. So we will go through these people and see that there's nothing we can do, so we will end the turn. Well, this is perfect. Normally, it will, it, if I didn't have the hero that could move that far, and the ghost that could also move far and be created extremely quickly, then all the red towns would be taken except this one. And I would only have these two towns against him having like a lot more. I think we are pretty equal right about now. He does have more towns than me. But well, that is okay. That is not bad at all. Um, thinking, thinking, thinking. I had some ruin, didn't I? Yes, down here. Give me one ally, please. Nope. I'm not gonna give me to it. Give it to me. Um, well, let me just kind of check whether or not there was anything down here to the southwest. No, nothing. Nothing at all. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna get blessed with my hero, and I'm going to move up to the northeast side of the island, and I'm going to see if I can take that bloody town from that uh, hero. He's probably not going to move out and try to attack me, as if he's only one hero. But I will definitely gladly attack her. But I don't have the movement, but I will have in the next turn. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be a quick map, if nothing else, if I if I actually succeed. Because as you can see, the distance is, is not very great. And Chronix, well, you're the first level, so you can just get some movement so you can keep up with normal armies. And we will... Obviously, might as well bring the zombies. This is the last town on the thing. Ah, well, that is going to be a win, at least. At least I hope so. Ah, who had this? Was it her having diseases or what? Oh, just hit her once. Every, every unit just hit her once. Uh, that will be fine. Oh yes. Good ghost. Good ghost. She should have some items seeing as a good missile and so on. And... Only Eldaspo. Oh, much better quests. Capturing a city. Hmm. Vampire hero must capture the mighty city of Grolington. Okay, I'm gonna take that one and uh, see what the heck this one gives. Strength and missiles. Okay. So that's not too bad, not too good. Wow, that is working out surprisingly well. I will... Well, I might as well get a bit of exploring going. Uh, sometimes, you know, it is random whether or not stuff spawns in the, in the map, depending on who made the map. So one might as well take a look to be certain. There might be a town up here. Doesn't appear to be though. And. We only 
got good defenses going. Maybe I can get you people to move up here. That would be perfect. So my hero has some more power when he's going to attack the enemy. But it is a good question whether or not... Uh, oh, okay, they're coming. Okay, they're coming. Because beforehand I normally lost all the, the things, so they didn't even have to transfer uh, uh, units from one part of the map to another, you know, one island to this one. Because they would normally always have enough on this map to kill me. But now we are going to take a, a tiny save and uh, gonna see uh, what this guy got. And hopefully we can hit him before he starts attacking our town. Oh shit. Holy fuck. How can they even be 10 those people? That doesn't make any sense. Okay, okay, okay. Um, I don't think that is possible to win. Not even gonna be close to possible, is it? Is it actually going to be a bloody defense game again? Ah, oh, piece of poop. I need the Lysius with me if I need to kill him at least. To offset some of his chaos. Or oh, some of his morale. That's insane. Ten, they have like 1-1 one, one and they have 10-4 now. I don't know. Well, it could be like Mighty Feast or something. He has on him as a spell, but... How the heck did he get plus 10 strength on them? In any case, this is going to call for a defense of some sort. They're probably going to attack me down here. That one is well upgraded, so I need to get all my forces back into the towns. And hopefully, hopefully survive the onslaught. I definitely need to protect my hero, so you people will go up there. Upgraded fully. And you are obviously fully upgraded, being my first town. And upgrade. No. And yeah, well, that's pretty much everything we can do. Let's see where he's going, see what he has planned for us. And that's strange though, because he's moving as if... You see how, how bad they normally are? Not, okay, it's 2-2. Two, two. So from 2-2 two, two, he managed to get it up to 10-4. And that is mighty impossible, if, uh, in, my, in my mind. But while he is trying to go attack my place, I'm going to ravage through his. Hopefully that will be a small comfort. These zombies are not going to last for long. Gonna get some curse going down there as well, and hopefully that'll do it. Well, it'll shave off some of his army at least, I hope. One can only hope. And then he decides to go attack that town instead. We have plus four, so we should be able to get rid of the first... Oh, he has so many hit points. We should be able to get rid of the first line of units. Oh, there's a lot of hit points we have to go through. Wow, that might be beast. It must be that one. That is mighty, mighty difficult. Ah, oh, good ghost. Holy shit, good ghost. But uh, that is going to be that. And he still, he still has plus four, even though he has minus so much to fear. I'm not quite getting it. But he can ransack through my town for all. I didn't even see Jesus. Didn't see what kind of units he he survived with. So I'm going to. Check it out. If it's only the hero, I'm going to take it. Oh wow. Okay, he survived with everything. Never mind. Time to upgrade. No, I don't have the money. Shit. Time to ransack through his. Wow. I'm going to win it, but. It's not going to be the best in the world. A powerful companion. Okay, so I get some chaos with me. That's quite nice. In addition to my fear stuff. Got, he got one of my ghosts. Shit. Um, I'm playing this a bit fast and loose though, but uh, hopefully you won't blame me. Let's go up here and get blessed with my army. And then move back again. So hopefully we can take one or two of his air elementals when he's going to come for the attack. Oh, and he's moving up to the north, eh? That's that one was... Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. 
I hoped, I hoped uh, that he wouldn't attack my stuff, but um, that's fine. Oh, don't lose anything. You gives a good, good amount of money to attack towns that produces archons. I lost another bloody ghost. Shit. Only a nightmare that I read in here wasn't there. Yes. So we can create some zombie. Oh, he didn't even. Yes, we could. But he left that town now with two. So there can't be more than one in there, if I'm not mistaken. Gonna take a look. Nothing. Nothing at all. Very nice. Very nice. I was gonna take another look, see if he's actually still here. He could have vectored away, and that indeed he did. So that is actually quite nice. So he vectored up here to maybe to try to kill my hero or something, and that is perfectly fine with me. Now I need to figure out I'm producing zombies right here, and I mm, yes. Then if I can survive for long enough, then I can get major backup incoming from. Towns down south. But it does require that my hero survives for two turns, which I find highly unlikely. Maybe if I start moving up with two of my two of my ghosts, I'll get there the next turn. See, that I should probably move up with even more. Mm, three of them from there. And three of them from there. And then maybe also. Oh, Rouse! Oh, he was right there, Jesus. Oh, that's a problem. He can still wreck me hard. What town is he going for? He moved this way up. There's no town up here, I'm pretty sure of that. He could be going for... I actually do not know. I'm gonna go back and defend him for the best. Because I blanked out a bit. Didn't even see him move. But whatever town he's going to attack, he's going to get it. Maybe I'm going to get one of the elementals. No. Not even bloody close. Okay, okay. So we can definitely see that I have nothing in there. <laughs> but a vampire hero. What do you need? You need leadership now. Two of them. To bolster your armies. I wonder if we can... No, we can't. I am thinking, kind of save the beginning of it, because it is a horrendously difficult uh, one to complete this one. So I will twist out and see if I can actually kill this one. I should be able to with those ghosts. I am going to do the awesome cheat tactic of saving and loading and stuff, so I am sorry, but I am pretty sure that it needs to be done, all this... Uh, Wind is going to be non-existent. We're going to take a look. If it is even possible to go through all those bloody elementals. They are very, very powerful. Let's just take a look and see how it actually goes. Oh, that was not bad. Come on. Oh, but the hero is powerful as well. Very powerful. It's doable, but uh, gonna require some tries. And if it's completely impossible, then I'll just skip and uh, and we will try to figure some other way out of actually dealing with that hero. I mean, I could move my hero down from the northeastern island, but then I would lose the foothold and and shit. It looks like that is what I need to do because this one is not happening. <laughs> Definitely not this time. Three more tries, and if not, then screw it. Oops, then we need a hero. We need a hero to kill him then. Definitely, definitely. Awesome, delicious. 
now I'm quite an idiot that decided to... Okay, so that is... Okay, so, phew. Might be able to defend those, and meanwhile we have plenty of defenses up here. Well, plenty, not plenty, but... Enough to see that, uh... Hmm, going down there, eh? Well, at least I can take the town. And now, how many ghosts do I have nearby? Don't have enough near... No, not enough near ghosts to attack him, but he still has... Man. It doesn't even matter if he's defending or just flying around because he seems to have the same amount of hit points and strength as before. Oh, I could have kept those ghosts in the production. Oh well. Maybe if I can just destroy... Oh wow, three medals. That is quite impressive. Okay, yes, so this is more what I like to see. And make some ghosts there. Then go with two ghosts to defend. That's obviously the thing is the next turn where we will get our mighty influx of units. Wow. So many archons. So is this going to be ghosts? No. Crap. And I'll buy some beasts then. And will I go and defend with the one? Should have enough movement points to do both, yes, right, yeah, okay. Hope for the best. Okay, that was not too bad. Have enough money to buy zombies, so that is what I'll do. And then, because they seem to be extremely good at, uh... Thinking, thinking. Seem to be very good at knowing when I'm not in the towns in any way, so I'm just going to put a few units in each town, and hopefully it'll keep them away from me. For now, we'll see that he's going to attack and attack my main town, but that's somewhat fine. At least he is at least kill one of them. Oh, almost two. No, it was a quest, so he's getting even more powerful units now. That's okay. We might actually s like uh, <laughs> island swap now, because my powerful hero is up there and his powerful hero is down here, and he's going up for the. Same town again, I think. And I think I can expand faster than he can. And tons and tons of ghosts now. At my place. He shouldn't have anything as... Wow, that's also very powerful. <laughs> but not powerful enough. So, let us make some ghosts and let's push forth. As so long, I mean, the, his hero can't move very far, so I'm pretty sure that, well, I don't want to take that one quite heads on. Okay, gonna lose through that one, holy shit, that was a lot of, <laughs> a lot of stuff. Um, I am thinking maybe there's not going to be a lot up there, and I can reach it. I will. I should have won this one, but I didn't. Ow. Couldn't even kill like a couple of those people. Will I be able to return here? If I know I won't be able to do that. I'll take it all with my hero on the next turn. I have to be patient. And thank the Agathis. Oh. I, a mighty wizard, humble myself before you. Let me live in peace. That is all I ask. Wow. <laughs> I actually completed the bloody map. I was so sure that everything was going to go to shit down here because his hero was too powerful. But apparently the AI decided that, um, oh no, you have taken a lot of towns, so you are now the best one. And that is actually quite fine. It saves me from doing the bloody stuff, so I obviously I accept his surrender so I can get further in the campaign. So let's go, shall we? So let's go to the cinematics, probably. Having captured the Isle of the Beast, Lord Bane planned his advance onto the mainland. After careful consideration, he decided that Silvermer, home to the elves, would be the first kingdom to fall. Okay, so we actually came through that map. It actually went extremely quickly and, uh, well, I did try to save and load a bit, but, um, 
But I mean, he didn't even result in anything. I just decided to say fuck it and let him run loose, that hero. But what do we have? So we figure out now that uh, those um, hit points and movement points and strength points that I thought that I could, you know, continue uh, with me through the campaign, they are apparently not a thing, so I will simply have to use all the things that I get all the time. I get a minus one round in making stuff and plus one vision. I guess I give the zombies that one and seeing as I'm not really using the bites for anything, then I will take these raves down to two turns. But that's going to be it, and then I'll save this as, uh, as a five, even though I did create a few new save games for the for the scenario, but it's fine. We are good to go to the next map. So uh, we'll take Vampire Hero, the only one that survives, but level seven, so it is not bad at all. But um, I will do the next map, and then I'll see you guys in that video. And until then, good luck and have fun.